we are going to first find um, the least squared regression line of some data using our calculator. So as we're going through the lesson, I will be using the calculator. Again, at the end of the lesson, I will show you how to do all of these things in both StatCrunch and in Excel. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my data into my calculator. And these should be loaded into your course as L1 and L2 so that you don't have to type them out by hand, but feel free to do that if you're looking for something not so fun to do. So the data in my table is the distance to those different cities from Atlanta and the fare that we would expect to pay from Atlanta to those US cities. And as you can see, I have all the data here and they have given me some summary statistics, which we'll talk about uh, in our next lesson. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow my calculator to do all of the work for me. So as you can see, if I go to stat edit, I have all of that data already entered in. You can certainly copy the data that I have loaded into your class for you using the connect app on your computer. Then just as before, when I was trying to find my R value, I will go to stat calc 8. Just as before, I'm going to use whichever list, L1, L2 is where I have my data. Frequency list, I do not have. And then store regression equation, this time I am going to do that because I want, by doing that, essentially it creates this line for me on my scatter plot. So to do that, I arrow down, then I go to bars, arrow to Y bars, function y1. So what that tells the calculator to do is to take the equation that it's going to come up with for me and put it into my y equals box. And then I will just calculate. So just as before, when we looked at the r value, that 0.69, that tells me the strength of the relationship. Um, but notice now it also gives me my a and my b. And again, we haven't talked about r squared, but we have our a and our b. So we have our least squared regression line where A is 177.214, et cetera, and B is 0 0.0786. Now, if we were just doing this mathematically, we would replace A with that value and B with that value, and this would be our equation. However, we are doing statistics, right? We're in a statistics course, and therefore we're going to write this how we would statistically. So notice I'm replacing Y with fair, but fair has a hat on it, and the hat's important because what this tells me is that I'm predicting the fair, the hat tells me it's a prediction, I'm predicting the fair based on distance. So I've replaced X with distance, and I replaced Y with fair hat. So fair hat, again, saying it's probably not the actual fair, but it's what I'm predicting will happen. And again, I can see the scatter plot and the line that it drew. This equation is the black line that is drawn on my graph.